Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, I see a lot of people, I see a lot of agents doing the right things each day, and good for you. Uh, you know, consistency, we talk about this a lot. See, we're consistent in talking about our consistency, right? Uh, consistency is a key ingredient. It is probably the key ingredient. The problem is, though, they're doing the right things. They are. They're just not touching enough people, and they lack an effective follow-up campaign. So the natural flow from that is that the agent gets very frustrated and uh, starts to get a little disillusioned and down uh, because, well, I'm doing, look, I did everything you said to do and it's not working. I'm like, no, you did. You just didn't touch enough people and you didn't have an effective follow-up campaign. Too many agents want to believe that just meeting or knowing people is enough. It's not, it's not. You know, the old saying is, the money is found in your follow-up campaign. Well, it's an old saying because it's true. The money's found in the follow-up. If you don't have an effective follow-up campaign, then nothing else really matters. I mean, you're just meeting a lot of people, but nothing ever really comes from it. Uh, you know, watch, here in the second drawer in my desk, um, those of you that are listening to me can't see it, but I just reached in the drawer and I grabbed a whole handful of business cards. And you know what's coming from these? Nothing. Okay, for those of you on the call, I just threw them all up in the air and now my office is a mess and they're all over the place. <laughs> I think I'm entertaining myself this morning. Nothing's coming from this. You're just a business card in a drawer in my desk. I think most of these people think that because they met me, if I need their product or service when the time comes, I guess I'm going to go digging through the second right-hand drawer in my desk to find their business card. I'm not. I've completely forgotten that I've ever met them. If you don't have an effective follow-up campaign, nothing else really matters. You're just wasting your time. Why? Because of this. It's just so easy to forget about us. It is. And you forget about a lot of people too. So each of us should be able to relate with this. So with every person that you come in contact with, here's a seven step program that I want you to take within 12 hours of meeting them. You ready? I'm going to give it to you. If you don't have something to take notes with, revisit this on the video that I'm gonna post everywhere on the planet today, okay? Seven step follow-up campaign. If you do this, you will find the money. I promise you. Number one, put them in your CRM. Some of you are still resisting the most fundamental tool in a real estate agent's business. Um, you know, resist it as long as you need to, I guess. But if you don't get these people into your CRM, you're going to find it really hard to implement the other six points. Number two, remember, it's got to be done within 12 hours. Send them a, excuse me, send them a 10 second text video. Hey, it's Mike over at Century 21. Enjoyed meeting you last night. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Send. That's all it has to say. Don't try to deliver a long-winded, complex message. It's just a touch. Why is it so important? Because of this. They're much more likely to remember your face than your name. I mean, how well do you remember people's names? Like 10 seconds after they told you, right? you're much more likely to remember their face. These people are much more likely to remember meeting you by your visual appearance than by your name. Send them a 10 second text video within 12 hours. Within 12 hours, mail them a handwritten note with your business card inside. Now, it should say pretty much the same thing that your little text video just said. They just get it two to four days later, right? Hey, number four, go connect with them. Go try to connect with them on all social media platforms, at least the big three. 
Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. At least those three. But if you're active on other platforms, TikTok, fine, go, go connect with them on TikTok too. But make sure you check the box next to the big three. Number five. Now, number five starts what we call a reoccurring follow-up campaign. These things, the first four, are just a quick individual touch, a one-time, right? Number five, you're going to send them your weekly video message that you send out to everybody in your CRM via an embedded email. And if you don't know how to do that, that's okay. I didn't know how to do it either. Rob's here. Rob will show you how to do it. It's a five minute trick. In five to ten minutes he can show anybody, no matter what your tech skill level is, he can show anybody how to do it. Okay? Um, you want to send that weekly video message out via an embedded email every week on the same day and time. Now when I meet a new person I just want to go grab last week's and send it to them within 12 hours of meeting them. And then because they're in my CRM, they're gonna get it going forward every week, right? And the same thing with number six. I'm gonna send them my monthly newsletter. And you should have one, whether you mail it out to everyone in your CRM or you send it out electronically via email. I guess I don't really care. Either way's fine. Um, when I meet somebody, I want to go grab last month's newsletter and send it to them within 12 hours of meeting them. And then because they're in my CRM, they're going to get my newsletter every month going forward. So it's a reoccurring touch campaign with those two items. This is how I stay in contact with people, stay relevant, sticky, in the flow with them over a long period of time going forward without having to do it with each person individually, which is so brutally hard. Number five and six are reoccurring follow-up touches. And number seven, I'm going to call, I am going to call you, I'm going to pick up the phone, I'm going to call you to arrange a stacking meeting. And if you read the seven levels of communication, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you haven't read the seven levels of communication or listened to it, you need to go get that this morning, right now, and listen to it. And then you too will understand the concept of a stacking meeting. Now, whether the person is geographically oriented to be able to do that, whether our schedules line up, or whether they even want to, I don't care. It doesn't really matter. It was just simply the act of calling them and seeing if we could arrange that. Whether they say yes or no, I guess is kind of irrelevant to me. It was just a touch. I want to do these seven steps with everybody I meet. Now I got a question for you. Who does that with you? When was the last time you met somebody and they followed up with you in an organized, systematic way like this? I know, never. Maybe somebody did one or two of these things, but nobody did the complete follow-up campaign. Why? They don't want to or they don't know how. Well, now you can't say you don't know how. You know now. Now it's just a matter of whether you want to or not. But why should you? So they won't forget about you. So you won't become like one of these cards that are now scattered all over my office. There's another reason. Uh, I would go back and implement this with all of your past clients too. For one really very good reason. Uh, each person that you worked with in the past represents 13 future transactions. They do. Whether they buy or sell or whether they refer you to people they know that want to buy or sell, they represent 13 future transactions. Now let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at somebody like Bob Clarkson. Bob just got a Rolex watch for selling his 500th home. Okay, so let's use that. 500 times 13, each of those past clients to him represents a future transaction. Just off of his past client base, he has 6,500 future transactions. I hope he doesn't say this, but he could. You know what? I'm not going to do any more prospecting. Why? I have 6,500 transactions in the future of my career 
just off my past clients. All I have to do, all I have to do is stay sticky with them. As if that's not hard. It's incredibly hard and that's why nobody does it because people don't like to do hard. They want to do easy. Well, there's no money in easy. The money's found in hard. The money's found in your follow-up campaign. So whether it's people in your existing network that you met, you never did anything with, you took their cards and you put it in the second right drawer in your desk, or it's your past clients who you know you should be staying in touch with, but you haven't done a very good job with it, or it's people that you're meeting right now, any of these people, get in the flow with them, get sticky with them, have a seven step follow-up campaign and implement it each day. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And I don't know, what do you think? If we did, would we be going out and making it happen for ourselves?